Hi guys, in this video tutorial, we're going to see how we can use the NFT Maker Kit to create our NFT artwork in three easy steps. And the first step is to basically drag and drop our artwork. So to do that, simply go to your place your media here, open this folder and place your main artwork here. Double click on that and simply drag and drop your artwork in here. Now I have imported an artwork in here, so simply drag and drop that. Then press S on your keyboard first so that you can see the scale value and scale it down so that it fits correctly in here. And then we can check how this looks when we go back to our scene. So now go to your scene that you would like to use. So in this case, you have two different scenes, the minimal style or the glass box style, and I am in the glass box style. And perfectly, it fits correctly. And now we can go to step zero two. So in step two, we can use, we're going to use the scene designer to design our, our scene. And this is a very easy process. So go to scene designer, go to the effect controls, and here it is. And the first option is the glass box properties. And here you can add the glass box, add metal pins or remove them just like that. And also you can add a border. And from here you can even give the border a color very easily. Give it any color like that. And you can even add the border thickness. So simply increase that using the slider. And you can even change the box roundness just like that. And remove the metal pins if you need. So that's the first section. Now I'm going to remove the border and like that you can see that even the glass box can you can change the roundness of it. So let's leave the roundness at around 20. Perfect. And now for the next section, there is the display card properties. This is basically the color of the display card. So if you would like, you can change the color of the card just like that. And you can even change the card size just like that. So give it any value in here to change it to the size that you would like to use. So that's for that. Now, then there is an option for a title block and you can add a title block from here and place it wherever you would like that to be. Simply reposition it like that or resize it as well from these sliders in here. So I'm going to leave that at zero and place it around that place. Perfect. And you can of course edit that text inside of there by going to artwork properties and finding the title block in here. If we enter into this, you can see all the properties in here and you can simply change any of these. So let's jump back to the glass box style to continue using the scene designer. Now you can add a display element if you'd like, like a platform for instance, or a column, very simple. And uh, you can even tweak its color. Now before tweaking that color, we can tweak the color of course of the background as well. You can, if I remove the column very quickly, you can add a reflection in here, just like that. And then you can tweak the colors. So let's make something different, perfect. Now let's add a column and you can give that column any color. Perfect. So I'm basically done with the customization properties of the scene designer. Now let's jump to step three, which is animating the artwork. So in step three to animate, what you need to do is first you have some properties in here where you can tweak the position. So this is the global position. Simply click on that layer and then move this around. You can position it wherever you like. You also have the artwork position. You can do the same in here. You can position it wherever you like. And you also have the display element position, which you can tweak as well. Then you also have the reflection position. If you have the reflection on, you can simply move that around as well. So now to animate, if we want to animate in 3D, we need to go to the tweak 3D glass box animation here. 
so you can access it from here as well simply double click on that and enter in, in there and in here we will see just the 3d artwork in here which we can edit so to edit to add animations you can go to the nft maker animation presets that we have included with the kit and let's go to 3d animations in this case since we are using the 3d animation option in here and we need to edit the 3d artwork put the pointer where you would like to animation the animation to happen make sure that that, that layer is selected and then go to in this case in animations and click that and see which one of these animations you like so you can choose to pop it in scale in you can move it in from the top for instance and things like that so let's see what things we have in here in this case i'm going to make it 3d rotate and pop in from the left simply double click while having that layer selected and there it goes now if we render in here you can see that happening right there and we have applied that animation once you are happy with the animation you can go back to the glass box style to scene zero to glass box style and you will find that updated right over here and there it is so this is basically it those were the three easy steps first you need to add your artwork then customize the setting settings from the scene designer and finally add the animation that you would like now there are more features and options in here which we will go more in depth in the full video tutorial series so feel free to watch that if you would like to see more features um, just like one thing to mention for instance is that you can add different scene design elements if we go inside in here you can see the scene design objects in here which is a list of different icons that you can simply add to your scene so by doing that you can add these icons very easily and then you can animate them just as we did with the with the artwork in here using the animation presets so feel free to watch the whole video tutorial series to see all these features that are included with this kit thank you very much for watching